A crocodile so colossal it could chomp down on a T-Rex like a turkey leg. Sounds like the stuff of nightmares, right? But believe it or not, this monster truly existed during the reign of the dinosaurs. Ever heard of Dinosuchus? While titans like Argentinosaurus and T-Rex get all the attention, when it comes to the biggest animals of the Cretaceous period, they were far from the only gigantic reptiles around. The oceans, skies and rivers teemed with supersized swimmers, flyers and stalkers that stretched the limits of the imagination. And of all these marvelous monsters, perhaps none is more jaw-dropping, yet often overlooked, than the stupendous crocodilian known as Dinosuchus. Just how big did these behemoths get? And what made them so successful as apex predators? So just how big did these monstrous crocs get? Believe it or not, when Dinosuchus was first discovered in the 1850s from large teeth found in North Carolina, the original estimates put it at an almost unbelievable 50 feet long and over 10 tons. While these numbers were eventually shown to be exaggerated, more recent finds have confirmed Dinosuchus still grew to utterly jaw-dropping sizes, far exceeding any of today's crocodilians. Currently, four different species of Dinosuchus have been identified. Of these, D. hatchery and D. rio grandensis were the biggest, with adults typically measuring 26 to 33 feet long and weighing 2.5 to 5 tons, more than twice as heavy as a male hippo, the largest living land animal after elephants and rhinos. And that's just the average. Exceptional specimens of D. rio grandensis may have reached 39 feet and 8.5 tons, making it heavier than any predatory dinosaur except T. rex and Spinosaurus. That's right, Dinosuchus was not only the biggest crocodilian of all time, but also outweighed fearsome theropods like Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. Only a couple other extinct croc relatives even come close, Sarcosuchus at around 5 tons, and technically not a true crocodilian, and Purosaurus at potentially up to 8.4 tons based on the highest estimates. But hold on to your hats, because some paleontologists propose that the mightiest Dinosuchus may have been even more mind-bogglingly massive. A pair of particularly gigantic fossils have been touted as evidence for 46-foot, 14-ton individuals. Let that sink in for a moment. That's about as long as a semi-trailer and heavier than the largest African elephants. If these estimates are accurate, it would cement Dinosuchus as the third beefiest terrestrial carnivore of all time, behind only Spinosaurus and T-Rex. Just imagine the looks on the faces of those dinosaurs when they saw a croc that size coming their way. However, it's important to note that these supersized Dinosuchus estimates are highly controversial and not currently accepted by the majority of the paleontological community. Most experts still peg 39 feet long and 8.5 tons as the upper size limit for the genus based on the available evidence. But who knows, as more fossils come to light, perhaps we'll discover that Dinosuchus really did grow to such mind-melting proportions. It's discoveries like these that keep paleontologists digging for answers about the awe-inspiring giants of the past. Even still, at these sizes, Dinosuchus would have absolutely dwarfed any living crocodile. The saltwater crocodile, the biggest modern species, averages only about 1,000 pounds, making Dinosuchus eight times more massive on average, and up to 17 times heavier in the most extreme cases. It's almost hard to fathom that such a beast was related to today's crocs. But indeed, studies of Dinosuchus brain cases reveal it was a type of alligatoroid, meaning it was more closely related to alligators and caimans than to true crocodiles. This is actually reflected in its appearance too. While obviously much larger, Dinosuchus would have looked a lot like a modern alligator in overall body and head shape. A terrifying sight to imagine. Of course, besides its immense size, Dinosuchus had other features to make it a formidable apex predator. Its skull was built like a tank, extremely thick and reinforced to withstand massive bite forces. Speaking of which, just how powerful was Dinosuchus's bite? Original estimates put it at a respectable, but not too crazy, 18,000 newtons. More than a saltwater croc, but much less than T-Rex. However, a more recent study revised this number upwards dramatically to over 100,000 newtons, almost twice as strong as T-Rex, and one of the most powerful bites of any animal ever. Several lines of evidence support Dinosuchus having a truly bone-crushing chomp. Its teeth were incredibly robust and durable, built to withstand extreme forces without breaking. Some of the rear teeth were even specialized for pulverizing bones, being short, rounded, and blunt like giant molars. Individual teeth were around the size of a banana, 
a terrifying mouthful to say the least. So what did Dinosuchus eat with these devastating dental implements? It seems this overcrock of a croc targeted the biggest prey around, dinosaurs. Bite marks matching Dinosuchus' teeth have been found on the tail vertebrae of hadrosaurs like Gryposaurus and Critosaurus. These duck-billed dinosaurs weighed up to five tons, but apparently weren't off limits to a hungry Dinosuchus. Hadrosaurs weren't the only dinosaurs on the menu either. Ankylosaurs, ostrich mimics, and even big predatory theropods may have all been fair game for a giant alligatoroid with little to fear and a serious appetite. Impressively, Dinosuchus bite marks have been identified on bones of the Tyrannosaur Appalachiosaurus, which itself measured up to 30 feet long. In some areas Dinosuchus inhabited, it was likely the apex predator since no theropods rivaled it in size. An unusual occurrence of a giant croc potentially outcompeting the meat-eating dinos. Dinosuchus almost certainly used ambush tactics like modern crocs, lunging out of the water to snag unsuspecting dinosaurs with its tremendous jaws. The rolling death spiral would have made escape nearly impossible for most prey. Thankfully for the local herbivores, not all Dinosuchus were supersized. Some regions hosted smaller populations closer in dimensions to today's gators. These pint-sized Dinosuchus were probably more opportunistic, eating a greater proportion of small dinosaurs, turtles, and fish, rather than the biggest game. Another limitation that may have held juvenile Dinosuchus back was their growth rate. Studies of growth rings in their armor scutes show they took a lengthy 35 years to reach max size. That's an extended adolescence even by dinosaur standards. Still, a small, young Dinosuchus was itself quite large and plenty dangerous with its armor and chomping power. Let's talk about Dinosuchus's armor. And no, we don't mean a knight's shining suit of metal. Like modern crocs and gaiters, Dinosuchus was decked out in osteoderms, bony scales that created a hardened shield across its back. But Dinosuchus took this natural armor to the next level, sporting an incredibly extensive and robust set of osteoderms that put its living relatives to shame. These osteoderms served multiple purposes. First and foremost, they provided a formidable defense against the teeth and claws of other giant predators. But that's not all. The osteoderms also acted as anchor points for powerful connective tissues, helping to support Dinosuchus's enormous weight on land. This means that while Dinosuchus was undoubtedly an aquatic ambush hunter, like its modern cousins, it was no clumsy landlubber out of the water. Thanks to its beefy osteoderms and the sturdy musculature they supported, this Cretaceous killing machine was likely quite capable of chasing down prey or defending territory on terra firma when needed. So the next time you see a crocodilian basking on the shore, imagine it blown up to Dinosuchus proportions and reinforced with extra heavy duty armor. That's a recipe for a true prehistoric tank of a predator. Dinosuchus's adaptations clearly served it well as this apex predator enjoyed an extensive range across the southern United States and Mexico on both sides of the Western Interior Seaway that split North America at the time. Dozens of specimens have been discovered across 10 different states. Dinosuchus favored a variety of habitats, from estuaries to freshwater rivers and lakes, and possibly even out into the seaway and ocean itself based on remains found in marine deposits. Though these fossils may have washed out to sea after death, it's fun to imagine Dinosuchus facing off against other giant marine reptiles like mosasaurs, some of which rivaled it in size. No direct evidence of such encounters has been found yet. Still, even without tangling with sea monsters, Dinosuchus shared its environment with a spectacular array of dinosaurs and other creatures. It rubbed shoulders with horned dinosaurs like Pentaceratops, Ankylosaurs like Nodosaurus, Hadrosaurs like Parasaurolophus, ostrich mimics like Ornithomimus, Pachycephalosaurs, Tyrannosaurs, and much more. Non-dinosaurs in Dinosuchus country included ancient turtles, fish, snakes, lizards, early mammals, and of course mosasaurs and other marine reptiles. Sadly, after a successful run of over 10 million years, Dinosuchus disappeared around 73 million years ago, several million years before the mass extinction that wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs. Its extinction remains a mystery. With other giant animals living alongside it, Dinosuchus's great size alone seemingly didn't make it overly vulnerable. For now, the reason these oversized alligator cousins vanished prematurely is an open question. Many other mysteries still surround Dinosuchus. Just how big did the largest individuals get? 
What's the real story behind those extremely controversial 50-foot, 14-ton specimens? Did adults actually battle it out with the biggest dinosaurs in its environment? What did a Dinosuchus-dominated ecosystem look like compared to those ruled by giant theropods? As more fossils of these real-life swamp monsters are inevitably discovered, maybe we'll start to get some answers. But one thing is clear, Dinosuchus was a true legend of the Cretaceous, an alligatoroid of outrageous proportions, and a reminder of a time when reptiles reigned supreme as the Earth's biggest and baddest.